didn't want to be here this morning, but discipline got me here. Discipline got me here. So, tough workout week, tough, busy week, all week. Just probably thrown off from that Sunday, too, you know, the weekend when I had to go to the south side, I had to change everything, so, uh, it is Thursday, it is Thursday, so, how we doing this morning, I can say for myself, um, that Wednesday workout, I am like terribly sore, I don't know if you guys did the snatch party workout, but I did it. That workout was tough, I'm not even gonna lie, really tough. I like doing tough workouts. So I'm like trying to work myself back into the groove from injuries and stuff like that. Injuries can plague your workout, you know. Definitely can plague your workout to the point where you just like tired and everything, you know, so. So I took some, some painkillers, I got my therapy gun massage my muscles and stuff like that, but today just not a good day. You know, sometimes you just gotta just work hard rest. But, you know, I made the schedule so I had to abide by it. So, gonna do something different for the next one where I can get a little more rest in between because I am doing a lot. And I definitely wanna step back onto the workout floor in the evening time with the group as well. It's too much fun not, um, not to get that going, so yeah. It's a lot of hard work in this fitness game. It's a lot of hard work. You know, I was just on the phone with one of my clients and she wakes up early and she do the run and she does other stuff as well. Then prep, come here for personal training, then leave here and go to work. That's some like real dedication right there, you know. It's a real dedication. A lot of y'all ain't gonna do that. You know, you wanna be comfortable you want to be comfortable. To be to be successful, you got to get uncomfortable. If you're comfortable in doing what you're doing and you're not making no gains, you got to get uncomfortable. Like you, Lou Farmer. Lou Farmer, you live not too far from here. That baby never stepped foot in here. You should be working out here in the studio, you know. Get uncomfortable and come in here, you know, just see what's going on every now and then. Um, successful people, don't be successful because they're comfortable. People be successful or become successful from being uncomfortable. You gotta put yourself in a situation. If you wanna go after something you want it that bad, you're gonna do whatever it takes to get to it. You're gonna lose some sleep, you're gonna work some extra hours, you're gonna put that little extra ump into it when everybody else is not doing it. It's, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, a lot of work. And you gotta be willing to put in that work if you wanna be successful. Think about what you did to get where you at in your position in life. How many times did you make yourself or get uncomfortable to be successful? Just saying, get uncomfortable. This is uncomfortable for me, you know, to wake up and run, to get ready, and drive, you know, about 20 minutes and then get here. It's not easy, I mean, it sounds easy, and some people probably look at it like, oh yeah, he got a me doing all that. No, it's rough, it is rough, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I, every day when I get in my car, and I'm heading here, I'm thinking like, damn, I need some more sleep. I need some more sleep. You know, sleep deprives us of a lot of things that for us to be successful. You're too comfortable. If you want to be successful, I'm going to say it again, get uncomfortable. Especially in this fitness goal. Some of y'all just sleep too good. You slept too, how you slept? Oh, I slept good. How did I sleep last night? I didn't sleep good at all. My fucking body is sore. My body is torn up. But I'm going to reset and get up and be uncomfortable and do this shit again. If you want to be successful, get uncomfortable. 
inconvenience yourself. You're too convenient. Everything is right there. It's right there. And you used to have been right there. You don't step outside your zone. Inconvenience yourself. Get uncomfortable. And see how much more successful you can be. Yeah. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. And I just noticed this morning, oh my God, it was cold. It's getting cold outside. It's got the heat on. I never, I, I don't get a chance to experience the cold right now because I'm blessed to be inside the garage and come out of my apartment and get in a car. It's comfortable, it's, it's convenient. But I'm thinking about those for years down the past when I had to come outside and clean out the snow in my car and do other few things to get in my vehicle. get uncomfortable to do some things and you like man something got to give something has to give you know but you do it you be acclimated to doing it you know acclimated to you know in the snow some people are like oh, I'm just tired of Chicago weather I'm, I'm acclimated to it sometimes the grass is not green on the side you move to greener pastures some more sunshine and figure out it's rough go to Florida, you have a chance that you're going to get dealt with the hurricane. The hurricane. Some areas in Texas and stuff like that, the, and floods and tornadoes. Tornadoes mostly everywhere. California, you know, not as frequent, but earthquakes, stuff like that. A hurricane, I guess, will come out that way too because it's off the coast, but I think I never heard of a hurricane coming to um, California, but if it did, I'm not, I'm not saying it's not possible, but think about it, guys. You gotta be settled in on the place you're in. You gotta get settled with thyself first. Once you settle in, you can take any elements. Some of us was born, we here, and we get a chance to go through four seasons, summer, Spring, summer, fall, winter. I'm a fall baby. I was born in September, so you know, I just said, like, you know what? I, I can take this cold. I'm just gonna deal with it. I'm just gonna put on a bigger coat. I'm just gonna make the adjustment. See, people in this side of town just a little more tougher in life, I say. You know, we can adjust to the cold weather, the fall, the rain, whatever. Just gotta be able to adapt. Some people around this continent cannot adapt. Oh, I'm not never used to this. Oh, you gotta get used to it because we, we living, you know, we living here. We living, gotta get used to it. Just like getting up in the morning time. Are you used to it? Are you getting up knowing it's gonna help for you? Let's slow it down a little bit. You know? Come on. Think about it. It's rough. <laughs> Getting up and all, working out and all, body sore and all. I'm just saying. We're talking about being inconvenienced to be successful. Being inconvenienced. You know? It's a really common, you know, being, losing the momentum. You gotta remember where you at. If you feel like you about to lose the momentum, start over, reset. I say, you know what, one thing too, take them damn clothes off and get in the mirror. Reset. You can be thrown off by a lot of things, you know, we got kids, we have a job, we got a husband, you got a wife, you know, you're living your best life. You gotta make, gotta make the adjustment. If you, your momentum is thrown off and you're losing it, hey, just figure it out on what can you do to get that momentum back. Figure out, figure it out. You can do it because 
We lose momentum all the time in life. We lose momentum all the time in life. You gotta be able to know how to get it back. Just think about, and it's okay starting over. If you lost that momentum and you felt like you really need to start over, just think about, just take a deep breath and be like, whoa, let me, okay, check it out. Okay. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Because if you lost your momentum, it's only for, it's only for a short time. It's only for a short time. If you really into your fitness goals and trying to do what you do, you can get that momentum back. You might have to inconvenience yourself a little bit more. But if you up with me, I can say you definitely be up doing your thing here. You still got a, your morning regimen is still on point. Your morning regimen is still on point. And as long as you're doing that, you can make the adjustment for for the evening time. You know, this is some of us, you know, it's gratifying getting it out of the way in the morning time. Waking up in the morning, doing your fast cardio, your workout, your meals is packed. You think to yourself, damn, I did that. Tomorrow, you did that the next day. You got a little streak going, your momentum's good. Anything can throw the momentum off. It can take a day, two days, three days. Just get back on. Just get back on. Nobody's not going to judge you. It's your thing. It's your goals. So if you felt yourself losing that momentum, you can get it back. You might have to inconvenience yourself more. See, I had put myself in an inconvenience, I mean, a, a convenience, a more convenient situation so I can easily inconvenience myself. So, let me explain. It's like when I'm, this last place I moved to, the last place I left, it was nice. I had a nicer gym, a bigger gym, more cardio options. I can invite a whole bunch of people to to come do cardio with me. You know, I can, you know, it's just optional, just more weights, more things to do in there. But me being lazy, all I had to do was step out, probably walk a hundred yards and I'm in that gym. You know, I didn't do it. I didn't want to go outside in the cold or in the early morning to take that little hundred yard walk into the gym. And I'm taking a hundred yard walk now? Yeah. From where I stay to where the gym is at, I gotta take the elevator and walk and all that type of stuff. But it's the inside, it's, it's a difference. It's a difference, I'm inside. So, that's a big difference. I mean, I think I was just mind lazy, mentally, a little more mental lazy. But I'm still walking 100 yards, but I'm on the inside. I didn't want to step outside to go back inside. You get what I'm saying? So some of you guys is going to the gym, getting your car, driving to the gym, doing your thing, big ups. That's not easy doing that. I'm got to, I got to say it is not easy doing that at all. It's not easy doing that. And, um, you know, so I thought about it. Well, this time, put myself in a self, in a situation where I'm gonna put myself in a convenience situation so I can inconvenience myself much more easier. That makes sense, right? Yeah, it makes sense. Cause I'm doing things, wait, I'm at 3.30, waking up at, you know, 2.45, 3 o'clock to be, Running at um, to be running at 3:30 and get here, and I ain't convinced myself to get here. So you guys can be convinced, you know. That's what I do. Uh, yeah, but today is the last day of me coming here for this program here for so today is it so tomorrow morning 
they don't expect me tomorrow morning. Oh, I'm not on them on Fridays anyway, but don't close it out today. I was thinking about skipping the workout because I am really sore. I need to like really prep myself because you know I still have time to do other things and stuff. There's a lot of workouts and archives. I just might close it out with something light, but I'm here. I can't believe I'm here on the way I'm feeling, guys. I'm like, you gotta think about it like, oh, I can't believe I'm working out and I'm feeling a certain way. I can't believe I'm working out and I'm so tired, so spent. And that's all part of the, the, the goals, man. Being tired, being sore. And sometimes you might catch a cold. I thank God I'm not the type that catch a cold all the time to stay healthy when it's only me doing 90% of everything, you know. I try to put myself in a situation where I'm always, where I don't get injured. You know, I might hurt my shoulder or something like that, but I still got my legs. I still can do other things. Other things you can do. But I just thank God I'm not the type that just get hurt and all that type of stuff. I mean, it makes a huge difference, guys. It makes a difference. So, it makes a difference. And um, I just... You know, I like what I'm doing. I like what I'm doing for myself. You know, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing, guys. It's really a wonderful thing. Once your body get acclimated to it, you can pretty much handle everything. Yeah, your mind might say, yo, I don't feel like waking up this morning. Yo, I don't want to run. Yo, I don't, don't want to do anything. But... But when you think about where you come, how far you come and where you're going and where you've been. So you can look at back, you can look back on those pictures and you probably have medication at the house so you can see where you've been. And you look in the mirror and look in the mirror or walk around how you're feeling now and see where you where you going. Where you going guys? Where you going? Ask the question, where you going? I wanna go as far as far as this fitness thing take me. That's what I want to do. I might have some setbacks. I might lose momentum. It's cool. I'm human. You're human. We're supposed to. But it's how you get back on track. That's the real deal right there. It's how you get back on track. You know? So, don't ponder over it. Just think about what you can do better. Reset. Ooh, and do it over. Oh God, my arm's so sore. I don't even believe how bad it's sore, how sore it is. Oh my God, it is so sore. We'll go for five more minutes. And I do apologize for being extremely late today. Just, just one of them days when I could not get myself together, but I didn't give up. Some of y'all will get in a situation where you just need one little thing to, to just to say, you know what, I'm not gonna do it. If I know I'm not gonna do it, I'm just gonna let you know, yo, you know what, we ain't gonna do it this today. My mind is set. But if I'm trying to get to a destination, and you know you need to do it, and all of a sudden you feel like, you feel like, I just, just nothing going right this morning. Well, do what you can to make it right. Do what you can to make it right, because if I'm, you know, they, days when I'm not around doing something, I already know when I wake up, you know what? I'm not gonna do it today, fine. But if I'm trying to get to a destination, and I'm having these setbacks where I can't find what I'm looking for, or look for my keys, like just shit, it just shit ain't going right. You know, shit is not going right. I'm not gonna give up. I'm still gonna make it. I'm still gonna try to make it. Uh, woo. Stretching out my arms is, on the bike is kind of gratifying right now. So that pain is unreal, but it feels good. One of those sweet pains. That's what me and my sisters and my cousins say, it's a sweet pain. 
sweet pain. Somebody's squeezing you like, uh, 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 hold on. But you, you want them to stop, but you don't want them to stop. Keep squeezing, don't stop squeezing. Stop squeezing, don't stop. And then start getting a little better. So in days that pan out. So some things can be misunderstood with yourself. If you keep working at it, it's gonna pay it out. Don't give up, reset. It's okay to start over. It's okay to start over. That's to get rid of that inner pride. Ah, I'm not the type to stand, I start over. I, I always get everything right. You can start over too. It's okay to start over, guys. It's okay. <laughs> you got to make a groove on any situation you have. That pain hurt, get in and beat with it. <laughs> Grunt it out and keep going. So today's fast cardio is going to be short. There's the other cardio in the archives. You can look for it after this track is over. I'm going to be done. It's going to be over with. And I think I'm going to skip the workout. My mouth was made up when I walked in. Uh, yes. So, I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys for participating. I want to thank you guys for not giving up. I want to thank you guys for just coming on, even though it's a small crowd. It matters. I guess it matters. I would love to see more. It kind of messed up my mental when I see the numbers. But, you know, I just keep going. But, you know, it takes motivation and dedication. Definitely discipline. You know, for me to come on and do this, for you to come on and do your thing, it's discipline. Discipline will take you further than motivation. And that's all I want to say with that. Discipline will take you further than motivation. And I just want to say thank you, everybody, for chiming in with me. Um, and it, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Um, this is the finish line for me on this one to close out. I think I'm going to skip that workout and um, I'm going to stretch. I need to stretch. I, I was trying to figure out what can I do. But I was like, when I tell you I'm on 10, I'm on 10. So I want to thank everybody again for participating. And let's get these, start getting these pictures in. Let's see what we got. And, um, you know, even if you felt like you didn't get picked to win, if you was in this program with me from start to finish, and I know the names, you guys are winners. You guys are winners. And I want to thank you. We're all winners in our own right. Because some of y'all getting up at 4 o'clock to be on at 4.30 or 4.40 with me. And some of y'all, get most of y'all was on every day. A lot of y'all was on here every day. Regardless, you understood if I said I wasn't going to do anything, you understood. You know what I'm saying? Amanda was always one of the um, first ones to shoot back on a new farmer. Like, take your rest. Take your rest, Eric. Amanda was like, okay, I'm just going to go into the archives and do stuff because I'm glad that we have an archive for you guys to go off on. So I just want to thank you again. I want to thank God for giving me the abilities to get up to, to you know, not be sick and, and tired and stuff like that. You know, if, if some days I was tired, I sat back, I could just say probably I missed two, maybe three, you know, that I actually canceled on. You know, other than that, I was here, you know, and you was here. So let's get ready for the next one. Let's, I'm going to take a break. Probably I'm still going to get up and run. Probably run a little bit later because the pressure is off because I'm going to make sure I want to be here for you guys. So with that being said, thank you.